options. So you think oil prices are going to go higher, but you're worried that if you go in with a long position and prices plummet, well, then you're left holding a significant amount of losses. So what do you decide to do? You go and you buy what's called a call option, which is the right, not obligation, to purchase at a certain price. In our example, at $35. Now, you're paying a premium, which is uh, the sort of the cost of the luxury of having that right. And if prices plummet, well, doesn't matter because you never bought at that price because you were never obligated to. But if prices go higher, let's say up to $40, in this case, you can uh, you have the right to purchase at $35, so you exercise that right, you buy at $35, sell at $40 for a $5 profit minus, don't forget the cost of the premium. Now, what if you think oil prices are going to go lower? Well, in this case, you can buy a put option, which, in, which gives you the right, not obligation again, to sell at, in our example, $25, and you're paying a premium to do so again. But in this case, if oil prices go higher, you're only paying the premium because you never sold at that price because you were never obligated to. But if oil prices plummet, say down to about $20, well, in this case now, you can exercise the right to sell at $25, buy back at $20, and for a $5 profit minus, don't forget the premium. Now, options, of course, have an expiry date, and that means that if the price hasn't moved in beyond your strike price during that period of time, well, that means it's, ex it's expired and you pretty much lost out because you've paid that premium. Uh, and of course, we're looking at it from the point of view of those who've taken on less risk, those of us buying call and put options, but you could be on the other side of that trade, receiving a premium to sell a put or call option, but of course, taking on significantly more risk. Now, 2019, generally speaking, was hugely in favor of sellers of options because of the fact that the market was relatively range bound. But once 2020 volatility hit, well, that's where things started to get interesting.